Hey everybody, Adam with Front Range Storm Contractors here. Today we're in Westminster, Colorado, up on a small commercial roof. Um, as you can see, it's not that big. It's what we call a flat roof. Although there is a slight pitch to it, it's uh, further from the edge of the roof, whoops, down to the bottom, further there, than it is over there, and it's not just because it's further away from the camera. There's actually a little bit of a pitch to it so that the water drains towards the back of the building. Anyways, um, we're up here today because there's a leak. A doctor's office, emergency clinic actually. And uh, they had a leak in one of the back rooms. It's actually been leaking for a few months now, since the summer. So they weren't really in a rush to fix it. Um, so I came out here last week to look at it and I looked from inside the building you know found the water spot in the ceiling opened up the ceiling because it's one of those uh, acoustic tile ceilings looked up <clears throat> to see where it was coming from and it was coming from I gotta stop turning the camera that way it's coming from this particular vent right here okay they're they're drainage vents they're not like exhaust vents or anything this one right here is a couple, like an inch and a half, two inches from the bottom because that's that's a secondary drainage vent. It goes straight through the wall of the roof out to the exterior of the building. Whereas this is the primary drainage system. And there are one, two drains for the primary drainage system. And uh, so anyways, what I did is I pulled back the gravel a little bit. I pulled back the the uh, felt it's almost like landscaping felt that you put under your flower bushes it helps protect the actual roof from the uh, the rocks this kind of roof is stamped right here on the wall it says JM 60 and then it has a date stamp it stands for John's Manville 60 milliliter and this particular roof type is called EPDM and I cannot remember what they stand for right now. But it's what most lay people call a rubber roof. Anyway, so, um, cleaned it all up with the blower, looked for cracks in the membrane, didn't really see any, but I know that the leak is coming from right around in there. So what I did was, um, we got this silicone, their roof coating system. Uh, 100 percent silicone. And this is um, nicer silicone that dries faster. So I don't have to be up here all day waiting to put uh, more on or make sure that it dries and all that kind of stuff. Um, I couldn't exactly see where the rip in the membrane was, so I coated everything um it and basically what's going to happen is once it, it it rolls on like paint or you can brush it on but it's much thicker than paint the silicone and so um once it dries it basically becomes all one piece there's no seams in it at all and it completely seals whatever area it's around so it's a very useful um professional strength flex seal type of um, leak fix and um, been up here for a little while it's pretty sunny today decently warm in the 50s and so it's nearly dry and uh, we're about to close put the grate back on it and uh, clean up our mess so that's what we're doing that's how you fix a leak if you can't um, I, I know that the leak is, is there. It's just got to be underneath the metal bracket, like maybe where um, the screws already penetrated the EPDM membrane, or possibly the metal bracket that goes around the drain just kind of wore through the membrane itself. And so, you know, I've sealed all the way around the metal bracket several inches so that we don't miss wherever it's uh, leaking from. All right, if you like this video, click like. If you like any of my other videos too, go ahead and click subscribe. 
Uh, make it a great 2020, everybody. Have a good one.